So I guess before we get started, does anyone want to do any introductions? Yeah. Um, so we have a new um, Ange hire. Uh, his name is Guys Mohammadi. Hey guys, you can you can open your camera if you if you like and say hi. Hello, hello. Yeah, he's the latest uh, like a uh, new hire, uh, full time engineer. He's a senior uh, blockchain engineer. He actually got hired uh, two months ago, and due to his last company's requirement and um, knowledge transfer stuff, he had, he can only start like uh, last week. So he has many years of blockchain building experience. He's the core leader uh, on one of the chain called WAF. He has a lot of knowledge about EVM. He actually um, migrated the EVM from Go language to Rust-based language, which is a much faster version of the EVM. And he also had uh, experience in fintech and also crypto exchanges. So we're actually very excited to have guys on board the Corporate team. Yeah. All right, welcome guys. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome. Hey, Tim, flip on your camera. So many of you guys know Tim, uh, strong minds hold from the validator community. He's been a great uh, advocate um, for Harmony amongst, um, well, everybody. And he does uh, amazing work. He is joining us as a, as a contributor right now on the Dow operations team. Um, to do uh, Dow relations, um, and he has done a lot of work, you know, smoothing over a bunch of stuff with various different Dows. He was great uh, support last week during the the Dow AMA and the Twitter Spaces. Um, the one thing I, I will flag is um, I think that we've been doing a very good job with the community regarding uh, communications about what we are doing in Dows, uh, but we definitely have to take it up to the next level. And, and Tim is here to help us uh, both take that message out as well as bringing in the messages from the community about the DAOs. So welcome, Tim. Yep, thanks. Uh, good to see everybody. Welcome, Tim. Anyone else? I think that's it. Uh, yep, all right. Okay, so uh, it's May and we have a brand new page for our May deliverables. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, I guess we'll just go through these. This is the first time we're covering May uh, deliverables. Uh, why don't you kick it off, RJ? Yeah, sure. Um... As you can see from lots of the discussion, like um, we, lots of the team member really want Harmony to focus back on some of our core technologies. And one of the main technology we're, we're pushing, which is the Quashard uh, smart contract messaging, which will really kind of um, open up the capacity of other shards and to serve more applications. So this month, I'll spend more time on uh, Quasha related uh, initiatives. And um, instead of fully kind of more relying on the third party agency, we'll spend more time ourselves. So one of the first item is uh, like to figure out what's our kind of a unique selling point for our Quasha messaging feature for our developers that include kind of doing more research about some of the similar kind of features offered by other chains, such as Cosmos kind of cross-chain messaging uh, protocol or po Polkadot or other um, cross-chain kind of bridge functionality. Like how can we be differentiated or have a better feature than the other um, competitors kind of offering? So that's more about research and design phase. Uh, or, and also that dealable include like, like a write-up of uh, a full article about what's special of, of our cost shard uh, protocol. So the second deliverable um, is about the transaction pool logic update. Our transaction pool logic hasn't been like um, updated for a long time. And actually, um, there are lots of room for improvement and also there are some issues that we need to um, look into and fix such as 
some sometimes uh, the transaction may get like a miss, miss missing after you send it, but that's very rare. And we don't see that often, but it's still causing some trouble for like uh, exchange partners that I think I'll spend more time looking into this. So the last one is kind of a normal kind of continuation of last month's kind of um, the implementation of the Quasar uh, protocol uh, with uh, mutual knowledge system, the uh, actional agency. So we'll continue pushing on the next, next component, which is the communication uh, between um, the shards, busy sending the message from the sender shard and also how to receive the message from the receiver shard. This component will continue um, working on it, even though we may uh, iterate on our design and uh, have changes, but I think with some of the basic uh, primitive coding can still be uh, pushed forward this month. Yeah. Excellent, thanks RJ. Uh, okay, Leo's not here. Lee. All right. Hey, everyone. So, yeah, on my to do for the month of May, um, we've already started this process in April, which is uh, we'll be actually sharing with the community, with the team, more about our budget, treasury, and uh, ecosystem fund, both uh, what's currently how we're using it, um, you know, as the community is growing and asking us these questions. Uh, I think we've been very uh, transparent using the forum. Everything's documented there, but also want to write out our roadmap uh, for on a monthly basis. We, we've started sharing last month all the event budget and what we've done, making ourselves accountable to make sure that you know we are um, using our treasury of, like in the maximum um, valuable way possible. And uh, the, the rest is just making sure that everyone, making sure that everyone understands how we're uh, deploying that uh, in, in the right way. So that's one. Um, I'll be working with a few of our ecosystem projects more closely. So Blue will be one of them. Um, I actually spent, I actually had an hour and a half call with, uh, sorry, can, the background noise is really, uh, distracting me. So whoever is, yeah, if you could please just mute. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. If that noise has to get set up. Uh, Brian, that's you. Brian, can you please mute? Oh, sorry. My apologies. So yeah, I'll be working closely with a few more ecosystem projects, especially some of the bigger ones. I think we've done a really nice job of reaching out to now over 300 grantees, uh, but really spending more time on the major ones that we can help work together with them to drive uh, 10x impact. And then the last item for me is, um, as you guys see with our uh, offsite initiatives, there'll be some 10x initiatives coming out of that. So I'm planning to work on at least two of them. One being TGI, just because that's my favorite, but um, th these are still like, up for iteration, uh, and and we'll see what the next one from the offsite that I think uh, I can really help drive impact will be. So so the yeah so the open so the question marks are just like the open items to be filled in. Great, thanks, Lee. Uh, Ganesha. Yeah, as you guys know, this month and next month I'll be uh, only in fifty percent capacity due to paternity. Um, in this uh, uh, month, I focus on uh, uh, pushing the uh, first two items are related to trustless Ethereum bridge. Uh, the first item, uh, I haven't yet uh, pushed the MMR hard fork uh, work to review and uh, test net and main net. So that is still the uh, main focus. Uh, and uh, related to bridge launch, uh, we have few several a uh, few more items to finish, so I added a couple of more resources to this uh, project. Shopang uh, is going to spend like fifty percent of his work. Uh, I mean, fifty percent of his time on finishing some of the uh, trustless Ethereum uh, task, and also we have Bruce helping us with uh, some of the challenging work uh, there as well. Um, Hopefully, like we should have some uh, more progress this month on the Ethereum bridge side. 
and uh, and the third item bitcoin bridge we are launching the vault staking today uh, uh, and there are a few more features planned to launch uh, towards the month of may like uh, uh, full staking where the users can also stake to the vault and the vault retire and few other features uh, planned out for the, this month so i'll be helping with all the review deployment all, um, and the launch, successful launch of these uh, various uh, features. Uh, that's my focus for the, this month. Thanks, Ganesha. Uh, okay, Yuri. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, this month, I'm planning to focus on uh, BTC Bridge new features. At first, it will be uh, staking and delegation. So at first, this new feature will be available on uh, main dashboard. And later, I will add support on uh, wild client and uh, command line tools also. Uh, then, maybe next week, uh, I'm planning to uh, start work on uh, wild management features like re re retire and replace. Uh, and also, I'm planning to add uh, one more monitoring service for uh for valves which will uh, monitor and uh, alarm about liquidation and uh, automatically liquidate valves when the collateration is too low so that's all okay thank you uh peter i see you're in your room do you want to give us an update yeah yeah um i was supposed to be with skylar at the hospital but um his mom went there instead so um, yeah, so the three things I'm focused on this month is um, uh, we have a number of games and game fight in development right now. And so I just want to put it all in one page, kind of organize the go to launches for each of them, and then work with each of the teams to, to see what we can do to help them uh, get users and players. Um, continuing to grow, we, I want to close three game game fight uh, projects, either with studios or games themselves. Um, indie developer games, and then uh, reach agreement with uh, P and U, possibly. And so that involves kind of some due diligence, and then um, and then uh, and if things work out, then then hopefully an agreement. All right. Thank you, Peter. Um, Jenya is not on the call. Uh, Sam. Well, hello. So um, first off, I, I should be taking some time off again this month. Um, and for those who know why, you know why. Um, uh, so, but but so what I'll be focusing on really is just a lot of work and a lot of uh, management of the DAO operations team, which is really good. The number one is updating the V2 DAO grants guidelines page, um, including what we're working on uh, the DAO pivot. Um, you know, the, the AMA last week was really, really good opportunity to have the community share their thoughts about DAOs. And so that's being included in our DAO pivot. This DAO pivot information, I will link that page when it's ready. It's not ready yet, um, but there are a handful of us who have been invited to add our comments on that. So the next thing is, is, is uh, publishing the DAO landing page. Um, that's going to be the place where all things DAO you can find. Um, all the various different DAOs that you want to work with, all the various different DAO tools, um, all the various different mandates, all of that will be uh, assembled and put in one spot. And then the Manifest DAO is a project that I've been working on for quite some time. Um, but the Manifest DAO is really uh, a, a description and a, uh, a proposal for people to be able to look at and read about why DAOs how, what is a DAO and what is not a DAO, how to operate properly within DAOs, um, and kind of what the motivations are and, and the pieces that support this idea of a decentralized autonomous organization. Um, at the end of the day, it is possible that what we refer to as DAOs will change um, because of what we've been learning over the last year. There's a lot of information that we've really been coming together on um, about how this can work and how it cannot work. And that will be all incorporated in, in these writings this month. Great. Thanks, Sam. Um, I'll go next. 
So uh, first thing I'm going to be working on is just refreshing our product roadmap. Um, this is a roadmap that is, is public today. A lot of our community members look at this and it's very confusing. Um, it doesn't really speak to all of its dependencies or even release dates very clearly. Um, so I want to give that an overhaul um, so that there's just better visibility into our overall product roadmap, um, the various campaigns, release dates, all, all, all of those will be clarified um, once I'm done with it. Um, I have another task where I'm gonna be just looking at the um, competitive product landscape um, just really having a look at all the products that we currently build and manage in-house and um, taking a look at other potential products we should be focused on. Um, maybe look at some other chains where they're doing things right that we can, we can borrow ideas from. Uh, so, so that'll be a report that I'm going to work on this month. And then the last one is we're looking for a new PR agency. Right. So with Kelly's help, um, who's not on this call, um, we're evaluating various PR agencies, um, speaking to them, and then um, kind of identifying uh, the, the, the best fit and then working out a communications pipeline so we can um, be more vocal about our accomplishments, about launches, our partnerships. Um, so that would be my, my third item. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so if not here, Boris. Okay. So we we made now we we brought uh, one anchor to to the point of beta testing. It will be private. We are sending the contracts and the code for audits this week. That should take a couple of weeks. So once that's done, I I push to make it a a public launch, right? So that's, that's my priority this time, uh, this month. I mean, it's not a lot of coding, just on top of it. I, I assume that the, the coding, the, the, the audits will come with some fixes. So I will work on those fixes and that's one. Then the, I will try to, since I, I expect to have more time after this, I will work in the process rich test cases with uh, Ganesha. And that's the second one. And then I've been working for a few weeks trying to close this uh, near bridge with the Hermes Defy team and the near and the near actually the near team too. So I will push so they can bring it at least to beta testing this month. That's it. All right, thanks, Boris. Uh, if you could all please just make sure you link um, oh. your deliverables uh, just so there's more context. Um, to, to be honest, this is still I. I a little a work in progress. So once I clear everything with Ganesha, I will add links correctly. All good, yeah. And, and if there is no page, you can always feel free to create a placeholder in Notion, link to that for now, and then fill it out. Okay. okay. Thanks, Boris. Uh, Jack. Hey, guys. So um, the three items that I have for this month is to rewrite the grants um, guidelines. Um, this does not include the DAO rewrites that um, Sam is writing because that in itself is, um, is, is a sizable amount of um, effort. So this will focus on launches, you know, ports, hackathons, bounties, partners, um, investment events, and income. And they are, they're all going to be partnered with many of the Grand for Ops team members. So I'll be working one-on-one -on -one with many many individuals that's on this call. Um, so the whole reason behind this is we wanna make sure that we take all of the learnings that we had so far in the last what, six, seven months, and a lot of the community feedbacks that we've been reading on a lot of the grant proposals, plus on Reddit and whatnot, and incorporate that into a, a you know, bar raised sort of a new grant guidelines. And for the second one is uh, attending a ETH-based conference called Permissionless. That's a um, conference in the East Coast of the United States and Florida, I believe. And the whole reason behind that is to learn investor outlooks on what they're interested in, what their struggles are, 
and help incorporate that into the Harmony ecosystem um, venture network. Uh, that's that's we're trying to incubate a lot of uh, projects out there that has been building on our ecosystem that's coming live and becoming more and more mature that's looking for the next stage of growth. So investors could be looking at investing in a different way or looking at NFTs as a form of investments or you know being a liquidity provider and for DeFi that's coming out. So there's going to be a lot of learnings and a lot of new uh, partnerships over there. We're sending a very small team there um, this time around with several local presence. And the last part is on the engineering side to train two of our new DevOps uh, engineers, um, also Eddie and, and uh, TJ, um, plus a, another RPC partner launch, this time um, having QuickNo partner with three ecosystem builders. Um, they should be launching a beta um, in this week, I believe. So these are the three things that uh, I found. Thanks, Jack. All right, Adrian. Sorry, muted. Um, so uh, this month I will be working on creating bespoke content for the keynote. So this is actually a quarterly goal subdivided into um, monthly uh, achievements. Um, the goal is to end up having a keynote that kind of looks like an Apple keynote, um, or at least uh, what we are able to scale to for an Apple keynote. Um, so we're gonna be filming specific stuff for that. Um, I would love to do some filming at the offsite, considering that um, a lot of the team is already going to be there, and um, plus we'll have even better insight. Um, additionally, um, I have treatments for one wallet; they're approved. Let's film them. And then, um, lastly, I know the community has been uh, vocal about wanting to get merch, so I know that we. You give a lot of merch away at our uh, events, but I think I've come up with something with one of our vendors to be able to essentially, I don't think we have the capacity to be able, or the, or the bandwidth to be able to tackle a full on merch store with inventory and all that. But there's a way that we can definitely do uh, limited drops where the store is open for like a week. Anyone who places the order can place an order. And, um, then they can drop ship them directly from the manufacturer. So it saves us, saves us, us a lot of bandwidth and that still allows the community to get things they want and we can make really special things for them. Um, so those are, uh, those are my three. And honestly, that first one is probably gonna take up, the first two are gonna take up a, a, a very high amount of bandwidth. So, um, all right. If it's too big, make sure you break it down. I mean, they're big, but they have to be done. So, all right. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Just gotta, just gotta grind. Nice. Okay, Abby. Thanks, Adrian. Hey, everyone. It's so good to see you all after a long time. Um, so, before I speak about my deliverables, I just wanted to take. I just wanted to quickly talk about Amsterdam because I think some of the Europe uh, team members just came came back from East Amsterdam. And I think for Harmony, East Amsterdam was a huge success, um, obviously because of our scholars, Blue Scholars. Um, we had about 10 scholars who divided themselves into three or four teams and they pretty much won almost anything they could. They, they tried, <laughs> they, they got prizes from, from Connects, from Aave. Um, from Scale Network, and I think they just did a great job representing Harmony because uh, apart from just hacking, um, they were always there at the Harmony events wearing the blue shirts, and I think we got a lot of um, credibility and visibility also because of them, so shout out to them. Um, and also, at speaking of events, I think, I, uh, I'm sorry, more, most of you guys were at Denver. I was not at Denver, but for me, this was so, it was so crazy to hear this, but it, Literally every project or every person that I spoke to spoke what a what a what a huge impact Harmony had in Denver um, with the events with the merchandise. Uh, so I'm glad Adrian touched upon that. People were also looking forward to some Harmony merchandise this time. 
um, at uh, at Amsterdam. So it's, and and also there was there there are some interesting um, uh, developments on the event side. Also, some huge names like Nakedow who want to collaborate with us for ECC. So I'm going to share those developments on uh, the individual groups, the smaller groups that we have for these individual events. Um, so that was Amsterdam, and um, and to speak about my deliverables, um, obviously going with the current community sentiment, uh, being aligned with uh, with what the community wants to see, uh, how they feel about it, um, and also like RJ, how we, RJ spoke about it earlier, is that we, um, from a content, content standpoint, I'm going to be more focused on sharing um, ecosystem updates, uh, technical in nature. So the, some of the things that Ganesh is working on, like the trustless bridges, um, even sharding that RJ spoke about. So Daniel and I have decided that we will focus more in terms of content and pushing this content out on a regular basis. Um, so that's going to be on the on the on the tech side, and then we're also uh, Daniel and I are also Daniel, and he's working with his team on the one weekly uh, newsletters. And I'll, I'll ensure that we get maximum coverage from those newsletters and try to reuse that and recycle that content um, every every week or every yeah every week at least four times a month. Um, and the last thing would be um, I'm also working with um, the One Wallet team, Erin and uh, the team with Z's team, and I know that they have been uh, they're already working on a great roadmap for. Uh, uh, the launch of One Wallet and the pro and the campaigns for One Wallet that have been planned, but I'll, I'll try to own what's going out on our so on our social, so the Twitter and uh, uh, and LinkedIn and Facebook especially, and uh, being in sync with uh, with these team uh, for the One Wallet. Another thing that uh, another thing that I could I, I wanted to mention is um, um, when I was just doing some when I was just doing the roundup on the numbers. Um, Sorry for the background noise, but I was just when I was just doing some, when I was doing a roundup on the numbers and the metrics. Our website gets about 300 to 400 thousand visitors every month, and uh, especially with with how we are pushing out the week and the monthly newsletters, we definitely need to see a subscribe button somewhere for the newsletters. Um, so I'm also working with uh, with Kelly's team to get that uh, get that subscribe button on the website. Uh, somewhere visible, hopefully on the first page, because simply going with uh, with the common kind of organic reach that we get 300 to 400k every month, which is crazy. And I think we can definitely be leveraging that sort of exposure and try to get those um, those emails, uh, simply because we are working so hard on the newsletters. Um, so that's something that I did not mention on the stage, but I'll take ownership on uh, achieving that. So and I and it, it sounds simple to add that button, but it's not that simple. Uh, a lot of infrastructure needs to change because the website has been rebuilt. So I'm working with Kelly's team. I'm not sure as from a, on a timeline perspective how can we deliver or how soon can we deliver. But I'll take ownership to get that done as soon as possible because I know that that would also affect my personal deliverables. So that's mostly for me. Okay, thanks, Abi. Uh, okay, we need to make sure we get through everyone. <laughs> on this list we have a as you can see uh, we have a lot here we're not going to get obviously uh, get to go through everyone but if we can at least uh, finish the um, the core team deliverables for this call we'll be in good shape so Daniel yep I can speed through mine a little bit uh, first one is published for one weekly videos and newsletters um, that one's pretty self-explanatory the one weekly video goes up every Friday uh, the second one uh, went up last week um, and so far, I think we're at 1,200 views in just a, a few days, which for our YouTube channel is pretty nice. First one is, I think, now above 2,000. Doing pretty well there. Um, uh, and it's uh, just real quick, one thing I do want to mention, I, I know that it says publish four videos and newsletters. It's definitely a collaborative effort. Matthew, who's on this call, Logan, who's not on this call, both putting a lot of work in, into that as well. So thank you, guys. Um, second one is assist in creating a co-marketing pipeline, um, also a collaborative effort. Um, so you know we're we're responding to the uh, um, the, fe the the feedback that we've received from our ecosystem partners uh, that they would like for uh, Harmony to help them uh, uh, amplify their accomplishments. 
um, more than we have in the past. So this pipeline will help with that, make sure that we have a process in place on how to do it, what we're going to do, where we're going to do it, and so on. Um, and Jeremy, AKA Globy, um, also on this call, um, is spearheading that. I'm going to assist in um, any way I can make sure that uh, we get that this month. And then of course that leads into number three, which is co-marketing for eight projects. Um, I, originally I had four, but I think this week we might actually knock out three. So that seemed a little bit too low of a number. Uh, and that one's also pretty self-explanatory. It's So it's co-marketing co their uh, um, uh, launches and um, accomplishments um, across different channels. Uh, that's what I have for this month. Great. I'll Thank add you. links too, by, by the way. Get Thanks, Danny. Add. All right, Danny. Hey, so we have uh, a couple videos left from events just of this year. So I just wanna make sure we knock all of those out this month so we can just go ahead moving forward and have a better routine, which goes into the second deliverable, which uh, we I wanna create a schedule, which will all create a notion page so everybody can see to where me and the video team can have consistent posting on YouTube, Instagram, and I'll coordinate with Avi and Daniel as well for Twitter. That way we can just have a better consistent posting, more reach. And the last one is just work with Adrian to finish scripts and casting, whatever is necessary to start filming this one wallet campaign, hopefully this month. But yeah, those are the little bits. All right. Thank you. Um, Aquan's not here. Maddie. Cool. Um, for uh, May, I have 10 grantees from Gitcoin Kernel. Um, been meeting with them throughout the last couple of weeks and have some good prospects lined up. So I'll be, I'll be nurturing those relationships and, um, and move, helping them move forward. Um, execution strategy for ECC, um, working with the events team to, <clears throat> um, to uh, identify our ROI metrics and really try to squeeze the most out of that opportunity at ECC in July. Um, and then all team completing May deliverables I launched a weekly AMA um, every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. Pacific that is welcome for everyone. Uh, everyone is welcome to join uh, from the team to, you know, it's a, a chance for you just to share your, your gripes, your concerns, ask clarifying questions on anything, um, you know, sh share any bottlenecks that are hindering you from uh, achieving your deliverables and, you know, whatever I can do to help support that, uh, I'm here for you. So um, if you, I sent the link out to the team last week, but if you still need it, just uh, reach out to me on Telegram and I'll see you on Tuesdays. Thanks, Matt. Essa. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be helping launch two exchange listings that we have in the works right now. Um, and we can list those once those are finalized. Um, I'll be building a event or an event proposal for our one conference, um, probably building the name out too, because that sounds kind of silly. Um, hopefully later this year, we'll be having something big for, for the entire team um, and the ecosystem. And then my last one, I'll be working with Ambassador Dow to kind of partner on events with. Um, there's a lot of I think, similar goals that events and Ambassador Dow have in common. Um, and I think to scale and to be more efficient um, in our outreach, we're going to have to align quite a bit on that. So we will be working on that this month. All right. Thank you, Essa. Uh, Max is not here. Is Constantine here? Yes. Yeah. Uh, my goal for my is to launch Epoch Box synchronization. Uh, it will save a lot of space for us. Um, it works fine right now, but it has some dependencies like crosslink heartbeat signal. So I have to implement this first. And right after I can launch ship optimization. And still we have some transaction pool issues in transaction delivery. So I'm going to fix it. That's all. Okay. Thanks, Monster. Uh, Brian. There's a, yeah, the three deliverables, the one, um, the creative DAO essentially is that we've, uh, they needs to be 
portals between um, metaverses are the metaverse projects that way they can connect with each other, uh, as well as various assets. If we're going to have interoperability between metaverse projects, the assets need to be transferable. So uh, a lot of uh, projects needed rigging, they needed um, rendering, and they need hackathons. So there should be a metaverse specific uh, team that can help uh, do this manually. Uh, the second deliverable is the idea that you know that some of this could possibly be done with tooling. Uh, some on the team have alluded to that we should build a tool or we should do a tool to do X, Y, or Z, which could be identity porting or how to standardize NFTs for the rendering and rigging or how to transfer strength uh, of some utility on a game to another game or some sort of meta key token or things like that. But I have no idea what uh, the, what would be involved with making these tools or how difficult it would be or if any can be done. But since enough people have talked about it, we should at least spec out what it would be and see if any are feasible. And then finally, um, for Blue Metaverse to succeed, there not only should be this idea of interoperability between uh, projects on the chain, but there should also be somebody that's actually, some Metaverse project that's actually winning that has a Metaverse with that has a lot of the functions of a metaverse. And uh, to do that, we should really uh, throw some support uh, behind some project to help them sort of get, you know, get over the finish line. So uh, there's a lot of projects out there and we need to really carefully vet who we're going to support and in what capacity. And that's what I intend to do. All right. Thank you, Brian. Tom? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. As RJ said, so we are going to uh, put more focus on the engineering teams. So compared with other chains, our engineering team is uh, understaffed. So, so we need to recruit more uh, uh, engineers. Uh, so for this month, I'm targeting uh, to recruit a, a senior uh, uh, crypto uh, uh, a grapher and also uh, engine managers. So our current engineering team is uh, very flat. So I see only RJ and uh, Leo has the title. So for the engineer managers, I propose to, uh, uh, one thing we look at outside uh, candidate, and also I want to promote our internal uh, engineers uh, because we need to create the uh, growth, growth path of our internal uh, entry team members. And the second is uh, uh, I'm going to uh, finalize to a, a bigger uh, conference event. So this is my, my, my proposal uh, for the for offsite. I'm thinking. I think my our current TGI uh, can maybe we can do it better. So I'm not criticizing our current TGI. So I just want to make it more better. Make it ten x result. That means uh, I propose to to make a bigger offline event or uh, online, like a uh, 200 300 people. So I think uh, thanks uh, Lee and Steven's support. So. They gave me the opportunity to practice. So I'm going to uh, do two conferences. One is online, one offline. Uh, offline is for the Bay Area uh, Web3 Leadership Summit. And online is, uh, uh, is, a, uh, is Asia US Web3 Virtual Summit. So these two conference event is also, I want to like gain uh, more experience and to see how we can make a a uh, bigger uh, online offline event. So the goal is to uh, to help ESA to uh, to organize a bigger, longer for the one conference. I know like other other uh, chains like Avalanche, they have a bigger uh, event in Spain, Avalanche Summit. So we should do the one one conference uh, is a bigger bigger event too. So I want using these two uh, if event to gain more experience to see how we gain speakers, how we get target uh, attendees and the meeting uh, logistics, how to control the budget. So this is a good, uh, very good practice to get very experience. The goal is to get a bigger uh, one conference. So the one conference I think should be like the Ethereum conference, uh, Ethereum Denver, Ethereum Paris, Ethereum everywhere. So later the one conference should be uh, all over the world, like, uh, like uh, East Denver. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Tom. And last but not least, Geese. Uh, I guess it's uh, this is your first 
the first update. So just go through your three items and maybe give us some more context. Ah, uh, you're on mute. Uh, Gaze, you're on mute. Oh, sorry. It was there you muted. go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm so excited to be here and be a part of Harmony's family. And yeah, my first name is Kais, but it's a bit hard to pronounce. So you guys can call me Kais. Kais should be good enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, my first task is to update the chain ID. We are working on this since last week. And the problem is uh, the, the, in the solid event users, uh, when the developers, they are using the chain ID, we return the Harmony chain ID. Uh, but the, uh, the thing is most of the users, they like to get the, the Ethereum chain ID. So we need to do some changes. There were two solutions for that. The first, we could add uh, one more upcode to return the Ethereum uh, compatible chain ID. But this solution uh, will break the will break the Ethereum compatibility. So we decided to add a hard for logic, uh, and we just changed the the Harmony uh, chain ID to the Ethereum compatible chain ID. That's the first one, and we are almost done on that. So the next task would be the fixed endpoints metrics reporting. Seems some uh, issues there. I'm not aware of that. I need to check them out. And the last one is to separate the uh, staking endpoints from Ethereum endpoints that I need to talk and discuss with RG to, to see what we can do on that. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Yeah. OK, uh, so unfortunately, we're not going to get a chance to go through uh, the contributors. We will definitely do these uh, next week. Uh, I want to make sure we have enough time for our breakout rooms. Um, for those who are interested, listening in, you can always go to harmony.one slash may um, and, and read through all of this. Okay. So let's see, before we go to the breakout rooms, any announcements, uh, questions, concerns, queries? Actually, uh, give, you yeah. should, you should, uh, make the video announcement that we are accepting public submissions for our offsite. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Adrian. Um, uh, as, as some of you know, uh, we are, um, we have an offsite next week and we're inviting the entire community to um, send us proposals on initiatives that they think will bring 1x, 2x, 10x growth to the ecosystem and vice versa, uh, existing initiatives that we should maybe spend less time on, um, de-emphasize uh, again as a, a way to, to grow the ecosystem. So if you are interested in participating, we'd love to um, hear your input. You can go to harmony.one slash uh, 10x dash community. Um, you can also read about this on Reddit, I think, right, Daniel? We've uh, posted this on Reddit and there are tweets as well. Uh, but I can, I can include it in the description of this video uh, once, once I've uploaded it to, to YouTube. So you can find it there as well. Uh, but yeah, we have until this Friday, this coming Friday, to put in all your proposals. Thanks, Adrian. Anything else? <clears throat> yes, I know uh, some members cannot attend the offsite, so they have their uh, other schedules. So I'm going to send out uh, a survey and to get uh, uh, some feedbacks from the core members because they couldn't uh, attend the offsite for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, one, one more item. Get. Mm -hmm. So. There's also a Q2 document, a Notion page. Um, maybe you can show it very quickly. We won't have time to go through the whole uh, document, but mm -hmm. as, as we did with Q1, we're also sharing our Q2 
uh, review for the team. And it, it is a public document. So the managers should actually help uh, write, write the monthly deliverables that's already completed and uh, give feedback to your sub teams. Yeah, this is the, it's, it's the same setup as the Q1 document. We'll write the every month items and then uh, the managers should write review. You can scroll down to probably, I started writing for Peter and Sam. This is yours to share for the whole world. Um, and then actually we can invite the whole team to comment as well on this document. Great. Okay. If there's nothing else, I'll send you to your breakout rooms. Thanks everyone. Have a great week.